I have to get to the hive. Then we go together. What are we gonna do? We're gonna kill every last one of them. Not many directors get to stay with franchises as long as you have with this. What is it that you love about this world that makes you want to keep coming back to it? Everything about it. You know, my wife's in it to mm -hmm. start with, which is always a big bonus. And yeah. in this movie, my daughter's in it also. So there's loads of people I love. Um, you know, it's very much a family affair making these movies, you know, mm -hmm. bringing Ali back. You know, we get, I get to work with some great actors. Yeah. And I think, you know, I just love the world that we've created, this post-apocalyptic world. It's very, it's for a filmmaker, you get to be very creative. You get to create everything. Mm -hmm. You know, everything's manufactured, everything's built. Um, so it's a, it's a wonderful world to return to. And I, I feel like this franchise in particular, because we haven't put the pressure on ourselves, like we have to have a movie out every single Halloween. Yeah. You know, we've, gone, we've got to go away, make other things, and then when we put the band back together again, you know, in front of and behind the camera, everyone's super excited. I mean, everyone's excited to return to this world. You know, you've been with it for so long, and obviously technology has changed so much since you started on it. Has your technique directing these, or the process of directing them changed at all, or is it just the same? Everything, everything has changed. I mean, I made the first movie on film, mm -hmm. you yeah. know, back, back in the day. <laughs> and um, there were tiny segments of the first film that were digital. Mm -hmm. Like, Mila had these flashbacks, and we did those as yeah. digital internegatives just so I could really control the color and the saturation. And it was super expensive. And now, of course, every movie is done that way, every yeah. single frame of the film. Um, you know, 3D for this last trilogy was a big thing. You know, I really embraced 3D and I love 3D. Um, so technology has changed. And also just the way you make movies yeah. has changed. You know, I remember the first Resident Evil was just seen as this really brash movie. It was fast cuts and it was aggressive. I look at it now and I'm like, geez, it's like watching some slow art movie. It's tame now, yeah. Well, exactly. And because the way people take in information has become so much more sophisticated. Yeah. And there's a lot of great action sequences in this movie, but the one on the car, I guess if you can call it a car, the one uh, where Mila is fighting. With Ian Glenn? Yes. That's a great sequence, but I imagine it was probably pretty hard to do. What was it like shooting that? It was, it was monstrously hard. <laughs> It took a long time and yeah. a huge amount of pre-planning because, you know, I've got actors who are willing to do their own fight scenes. But that, that makes it slightly easier for me yeah. because, you know, then you can have a very aggressive kind of camera movement, you know, because you're not forced to like shoot over double shoulders and hide the fact that the actors aren't really in the scene. Yeah. You know, I can get in there with the camera, put the audience in the middle of the action, thrash around, go from Ian to Mila because they're really there yeah. doing it. So that, that's a great benefit. But to do a scene like that, which is very long, huge amount of fight moves for the actors to remember, on a very uneven surface, because mm -hmm. it's like it wasn't easy up there, yeah. on top of a moving vehicle, that that's hard stuff in the African hot African sun. And then of course, to just get equipment up there, these huge logistical challenges. You know, we had a crane up there. But you put a where do you put it? Yeah. You know, you, you have to build platforms, and those platforms have to be built into the design of the vehicle. And then it all has to be counterweighted because otherwise the whole thing will fall over when you put the camera crew on one side and there's nothing on the other side. Yeah. So, you know, I sat in endless meetings, you know, with people and talking about load bearing ratios and looking at computer models. And I'm like, <laughs> yeah. I didn't become a film director to do this. I feel like I'm, you know, spend, sending a spaceship to Mars or something. Yeah. I just wanted two actors to fight on a car. Is yeah, exactly. <laughs> is it so difficult? <laughs> yeah. But apparently it is. Yeah, apparently it is. Uh, it is called the final chapter. Is it the last one? Or? Yeah, I, it's really, you know, it's designed to bring the whole franchise full circle. You know, yeah. bring Mila back to where it all began, back to the hive, uh, back to finish the job she started 15 years ago but didn't complete.